How are we going guys? Excuse the noise in the background, we've got a generator going because we still haven't had power since uh, yesterday morning. So, um, but the sun's finally out, so I thought I'd take you around, show you the um, aftermath of the damage. And um, yeah, we'll go have a look at all the plants. We'll go down the back first and uh, see what we got there. Alright, so this ended up snapping off half and that half of that tree snapped off. So I've had to uh, this morning I had to re trellis this passion fruit up. But um, the passion fruit itself survived, which is fortunate because we've got heaps of little fruitlets. There's two on there that are almost ready. But uh, yeah, as you can see, just from that, how bad the winds were. Apparently it got up to 120 kilometers an hour, which I would believe. But, uh, and this is pretty typical throughout basically every plant, just wind and essentially wind damage. But uh, still, the passion fruit survived. Um, uh, this morning I re-trellised this as well. All the uh, cherry tomatoes. But again, a bit of wind damage at the top. But uh, most of this survived. And now we'll go take a look at this. So yeah, I only lost one nectarine, a um, bit of wind damage on a fair few of the trees, but most of the others are doing all right. All these tropical ones, because it didn't have too many leaves, they didn't really get shook around too badly. But uh, the avocados copped a bit of a beating. You can see most of the tips sort of crisped over, especially this Hass avocado. All the new growth has copped a bit of a beating. That'll bounce back. Lost a few of my white toots. Only a few left on there. So they're hanging on. I did notice this morning as well, if I can zoom in. This, year, this year's first uh, Brazilian guava flower. I think that's the only one on there at the moment. Uh, persimmon did all right. Again, a little bit of wind damage on that one. But um, yeah, this greenhouse didn't make it. After I recorded the mid-storm video, it got a little bit worse and this ended up cracking. I just threw it off because this was on top of my strawberry guava, which had finally come back after the possums ate it, and then the greenhouse snaps the top off, so that's about half the size now, but plenty of flowers, not too big of a deal. And again, even this one copped a bit of wind damage. But for the most part, not really not too bad. I was more just depressed about the eucalyptus, which oh yeah, I didn't show you. I installed brackets to the wall and just trellised it up. So we lost half of it, but at least now it's a bit straighter. Could have been worse. Uh, still waiting for the, uh, for Joa's, Joa flowers to open. They're swelling up pretty nicely. Yeah, for Joa's, didn't cop a beating. I did all right. Uh, what else we got? Chickens are eating the red chatoots, as expected. And we'll just focus on this growing taller for now. Not too concerned about the fruits. And yeah, lost a lot of these mulberries as well. But the mulberries actually did alright. It's more just the avocados which took a beating really. So that's that's how this area went. 
Overall, not too bad. And then I'll show you just over here. So because this spot was exposed, well, this I should have staked this up really. I think that's a lemon. Got smacked around. It's not too good having two spiky cactus or cacti at the back. But well, that's all right. Uh, fig copped a bit of a beating as well. During the storm, this was pushed over. All these top ones were basically on the ground. But still got one fig on there. Could be worse. And because uh, we're out of lockdown and the market's opened, I got a dwarf pear. And I should have protected this more because all these leaves are perfect when I got it. And now every, almost every one is scorched from the wind. But that's all right, it'll come back. Uh, again, Tamarillo, lucky we didn't snap it off. That was blown over on the ground. That one's doing all right. This other one's, oh, the leaves were curled on the last growth for some reason, probably aphids. And look at all, all of these uh, loquats. They're ripe at the moment. This, this variety, um, it's not overly uh, sweet, but it's definitely no tang to it, no sourness. Huge seeds. So yum. Um, what else can we show? Yeah, this was over as well on the ground. There were little mulberries on it, but I think, yeah, they're all gone, unfortunately. But uh, could have been worse. We bought a bunch more steaks, so we're just gonna prepare better for next time, really. Still a bit of cleaning up to do. But overall, not too bad. We're getting a delivery of soil today, so I'm going to do a bit of up-potting. Getting the cubic meter, we'll amend it and do a bit of up-potting, a bit of staking. And I'm not too sure if I'll put the greenhouse back together yet. I might just invest in a slightly bigger one and secure to the fence better. But uh, yeah, for this part, I'm just sad about the strawberry guava, but oh uh, well, that's life. Alrighty, anyway guys, it's just a little quick update. Might do a video on the chickens soon. They are pretty funny. <laughs> Alrighty, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. See you.